So, you want to create a lemon lime pie, but you don't have lemons, you don't have limes, and you'd rather have a cake. Hey guys, I'm back to Spike. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how I made this cool little, uh, you know, animated little letter thing. I thought it was really nice. I want to share it, so we're going to get started. It's actually super easy. We haven't done something um, with text in Blender in a while anyway, so I want to go ahead and get started. It's uh, a couple of things just put together. So the first thing you'll notice here is that there's a light going across the, the, the letter here, and there's also a nice text on our letter as well that looks really good in the in the light there and then we have the giant green outline in the back underneath the R um, uh, shining on the uh, on the edge giving us that nice little bloom um, yeah it looks pretty good so let's go ahead and get started the first thing I want to talk about is the letter itself so if you were if you were to go ahead and hit shift a and search for text and then you would just go ahead and you know Rotate the text up by double tapping R, you know, rotate it to the angle you want. Hit tab, you go into edit mode, and then just hit delete to delete whatever, and then just type an R, or, you know, that's how I did that. Um, other things that I did that are notable is you can see here if I zoom into the edge of the R, it's not completely flat on the edge. So if I were to go ahead and take this, um, this text we just created and then go to the text tab on geometry and then up the extrude value you can see when I zoom in here to it you see the edge is completely sharp it's completely sharp it has no it has no round rounds to it but when I zoom into this one it has a nice little uh, nice little edge that's picking up some light there uh, very very small that is uh, that is the bevel option so if you go ahead and go down here to bevel you can see we have the bevel depth on 0 0.002 and the resolution on 32 now if we go back to this one into the same thing you can see I can turn the bevel up to point uh, zero zero two and then make sure the resolution is on 32 and the resolution does not have to be that high but I just put it that high for the video or for the uh, for the example that I'm doing today, you can probably get away with doing something like something crazy low, like four, depending on uh, how big the depth is. If the depth was higher, so like if, like if it was like this, you can see we would probably need to go with a higher resolution because something super low, like zero or two or something, would look like this, as 32 looks like that, which is like super smooth. But yeah, so that's all I did for the uh, the beveling and the text uh, of it. It's on. Point uh, thirteen for the extrude value, by the way, and the font that I use is Anybody Extra Bold. Anybody Ultra Expanded Extra Bold is the uh, is the font there. That's literally it for the text. That's all that I did. The material itself is uh, super simple as well. Looks like this. It looks really cool. I like it a lot. Um, it's really basic. So if you go ahead and split your window into two by putting your cursor in the top left, like if you put it up here, and then make sure it turns into a little plus, and then click and drag it on open. You can see that if you can, if you put your box, your cursor up on this box right here, of the, it says the editor, what is it called? The editor type, yep, 3D uh, viewport. You can switch this to the shader editor right there. Click and drag this window away, this little box, we don't need that. And then you can see we can zoom in here. Let's uh, talk about the noise textures. The noise texture, it's the same exact, the same exact um, texture on roughness and on the normal. So I do believe you can go ahead and just do this and go color. Normal. We don't need to do. We don't need. We don't even need two of them. I do believe you can do that same thing. Yeah, it works the same thing without two of them. So literally, it's one node. Um, so that's Shift A, search noise for noise texture right there. Boom, plop that bad boy down. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, hit the values for this. So we're gonna plug this into the the color into the roughness and the color into the normal. And then the scale is on 0.5, detail 15, roughness 0.775. Yep, it's. I thought it was gonna be like seven seven five two two one whatever nine eight seven nine, but it's not. It's just 0.775, and the distortion is on 14. Um, so there you go. There you have it. Specular. We can turn it all the way up. We can turn it all. Uh, we can turn it. We can leave it on point point five, or we can turn it all the way up to one. I reckon we just leave it on uh, what it was because that's what I had. But then again, actually, wait. No, I like the way that it looks with all, all the way up to to one. Yeah, let's leave it on one. Leave it on one. Um, then everything else is default, I do believe. So that's that. And then the last thing is the light. Um, so the two lights that we have in the scene. So we have two lamps. Um, one of them is this uh, this white light that's up at the top. It's an area lamp. Let's go ahead and turn my. Yep, it's, it's sh shining straight downwards. And I animated it so that on the first frame it's over here. Then I hit G to move it. And then I, I put my cursor over here on the timeline. And, um, and then hit I. And then hit location right there. So it added that location keyframe. Then I hit G and I moved it over here or somewhere, wherever it, oh, over here, yeah, over here. Hit I, location, boom, right there, done. And then we move way back over to 250. 
And I just grabbed the first frame, so just cl click and drag a box over top of that, hit Shift D, and I just moved it over to 250 right there. Boom, easy, nice. Um, now that's the uh, the one lamp. It's just like I said, it's an area lamp on power 500, um, and it's just shining straight down. Now this one in the back here. This is a point lamp, and the uh, power's on 10,000, and it is a nice green color. Um, and the shadow on both of these is turned on. Make sure both of these shadows are turned on or else it will look a little strange, not how you want it to be. But yeah, so that's uh, that's literally it. Just a point lamp at the back here, 10,000 power. And when you play everything, it looks like this. Super, super cool. And of course, I turned the world background from this gray color that it always is on all the way to solid black. Um, so yeah, there's that as well. But yeah, that's, uh, that is literally it. I like this scene a lot. It could be really cool. You can go ahead and add other letters for like read. Maybe you want somebody to read, you know, read. Nice. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.